take another review of a knife here and I this knife I don't know what I'm gonna call the video but what I want to the reason I decided to pull this knife out and talk about it is because I don't want to get a bad rap for not liking stuff that's inexpensive you know there's inexpensive and there's cheap and this is inexpensive that's not cheap um, this is a knife that I bought oh, I can't even imagine definitely one of the first knives you know when I took my allowance or whatever and went out and bought knives as a kid this is one of the first knives I ever got it's a hollow handle I think they called it a survival skinner if I remember right and I got this from Smoky Mountain Knife Works about a million years ago um, for some reason I keep a couple of tiny light sticks in there glow sticks which are basically used for fishing bait a lot of times but I like to just have them for uh, little survival stuff for either signaling or you know reading a map or something anyway it is a uh, hollow handle so for all you know every thing you ever read this should be a junky knife uh, it should be very um, uh, what should I say it should be very uh, flimsy and it should fall apart and I treated it like that I treated it you know with not much care and you can tell I've already busted one of the things off of here this is a cast aluminum uh, handle for it um, I don't know if you can tell from the looking at this but I used to carry some matches in here and at some point they blew you know they struck against themselves and kind of went off and if I remember right I was smacking on something when that happened and it just sort of went whoop, and uh, got really hot <laughs> And when I opened it, a bunch of smoke came out. So it was pretty neat, but it didn't blow up or kill me or anything. But um, needless to say, I don't carry any matches in it anymore. Um, actually, I don't use this knife at all anymore, but I keep it around because it was one of the first knives I ever had. Now, I don't know if you noticed there, but uh, at some point when I was a kid, I decided that it was cool to take it to a grinder and sort of put whatever you want to call that design on it. Or probably on a brush or some sort of a thing in the shop when I was a kid. Um... So the knife didn't look like that originally. I think what else? I think I also grounded off the uh, made in China stuff. I'm sure it was either made in China or Taiwan. Actually, when I was a kid, stuff was made in Taiwan, not China. So um, anyway, the reason I wanted to do this video is this knife cost me 14 bucks. I can definitely remember that still. And uh, I must have used this knife through scouts, through Civil Air Patrol, through you know tours of the country, just driving around. This was always my go-to knife. It wasn't my only knife. I'm one of those guys that carries a couple of knives around, especially when I'm camping. But this is one that I would keep in the door of the truck. Uh, I would keep it in the glove box. You know, it was a knife that I didn't care about. I kept it with me because I was comfortable with it, and I knew what what it could do, and you know what its extremes were, and 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 it's a, just a handy utilitarian blade. It's still a little sharp from the last time I used it. Um, the sheath, again, very inexpensive, 14 bucks. You know, it wasn't a lot of money but it was sewn well the material is just thick enough to be substantial it was strong enough leather and it was made in such a way that I never had a problem I was never worried about it you know coming through and sticking me um, it's got this belt clip in the back and you can see if it's been stretched quite a bit from use over the years and at some point I decided to drill two holes in that belt clip because I can remember having this mounted under something I think I mounted it under a desk one time as like a you know, I don't know, I guess a tactical fighting knife or something when I was a kid. I thought that was cool. So I sort of had this, like, mounted up under a desk. Now I would use one of those quick-draw gun magnets so I could get it really fast if I wanted to do that. But um, anyhow, this is just an example of a knife that's lasted well over 20 years, probably 30 years. But um, inexpensive, cheap. I think my dad probably laughed at me for buying such a cheap knife. But um, I've got to give it credit, you know, that's, and unfortunately, I remember this one when I see knives at the store and I think, well, is that going to be the cheap one that lasts for another 30 years or is that going to be the cheap one that doesn't last till the end of the week? Um, this happened to be one of the longer lasting ones and I keep it around, you know, just to remind myself, you don't have to spend $300 on a knife for, you know, to get a lot of use out of one. So anyhow, I'm not a hater of the cheap stuff. I'm just a hater of the stuff that uh, doesn't work.